Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and as you can see, we're doing our regular playthrough for the Omega Edition, and uh, we're picking up pretty much right where we left off last time, and as you can see, even the Anomaly mission hasn't been done. Well, that's because I can't do the Anomaly mission. <laughs> Because I haven't done anything inside the Nexus yet. So we're going to go ahead and get some of the Nexus done. And get ourselves introduced to Nada in the storyline. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design, a perfect bubble. <clears throat> Pardon me, beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax, Nada watches time come and go. I'm going to ask about Artemis. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. There's that word iterations again. They were lost to us. Highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime. I not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence does the convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There's something familiar about them. Ask about Polo. Polo friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. The station has been calling to me since I awoke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search. The sentinels, the atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes, hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. We're going to leave, but... Speak with Polo, friend, Traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Because he knows nothing, hence the name Nada. Specialist Polo. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis, friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible, such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps you perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. Okay, so we've got the mission going. First thing we need to do is wander around and speak to everybody. So it's directing us over here to the right. We're going to do that now. This most likely is Helios. Trying to figure out what it's accomplished. Oh, travel 10,000 kilometers. Yeah, mostly wandering around inside space stations, I guess. Iteration Helios. Again, that word iteration. Interesting, isn't it? Ah, young one, you who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My tame time out in reality has long passed, but I do so miss it. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share some things you've seen. I miss the feeling of dirty hands and hard work grafting among the rocks and soil. So he says the same thing every single time. So if we come back to Helios, I won't be repeating it. We're going to give data, in this case, in the form of minerals. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. So he doesn't give us much. He gave us 20. So we're going to continue to talk to others. Um, it's directing us instead of to Ares. We're going over here to the back terminals. Okay, let's go ahead over there now. Glad I got that movement upgrade. Okay, so it's heading us to the exosuit terminal. This is Iteration Selene. Traveler new, your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. Now, he may change his words once in a while, but Selene, or she, I should say. But honestly, there's no reason to think that I need to read it every single time. So we're going to research the upgrades. We could get anything we want here. But we're not going to. We're going to hold off because a lot of these things are going to be given to us later on. So I'm going to hold off on getting anything from there. However, it tells us to browse a huge array of base parts. I'm going to hit the exosuit upgrade because every system that you go to that you pull this in on, you can upgrade your exosuit. So again, um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my... I don't even know 
what it upgraded. Oh, it did upgrade that spot. Okay, that was weird. All right, so it says to check out the array of parts. That will be right here, the construction research terminal. So they have more here. You see, we only have two salvage data, so we really can't get anything at this time. So as we go through, we can pick up some stuff if you want. But honestly, there's nothing here to get at this time. You should hold off on getting anything. Lots and lots of parts. You could get the electrical cloaking unit if you wish, or a wall switch to turn on and off your uh, your teleport unit. Save some power if you want. Um, I don't think I'm going to get anything at this time. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. A lot of construction items in here. You're going to get a lot of this stuff for free, so hold off on it. All right, next terminal it's taking us to is back this way. Oh, it looks like we're going to talk to Nada again. Okay. Okay. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. They, there are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveler entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity. Explore with others. Travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, traveler entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also. Even if you seek the Crimson Liar. So we can choose between one three uh, three different options. Ask for help with exploration, ask for help with Artemis, or ask about the Crimson Liar. We're going to do Artemis because that's what we're doing right now, the Artemis storyline. So let's go ahead and hit number two. Of course, Nada has a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help, perhaps not. Nada and Polo Friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. So he gave us a bunch of nanites, 120 to be exact. And it looks like we're done with the... Unit. Now, I, I'm suddenly getting collect rewards, Twitch rewards, collect uh, community research, so we should have access to the anomaly mission now, and I've never done it this early on. Let me see if it'll allow us. It does. Okay, so we're going to do the weekend event, and I'm going to do it right now on the save in this particular... Um, wow, everything just changed on it. Um, in this particular save right now. So we're going to do Joy of Home. We're going to get 15 wiring looms, which will be very handy to me, as well as the 1800 Quicksilver. Plus, I'm sure I'm going to get some credits out of it, too. Um, let's go ahead and get that done. We're going to initialize the mission. Yep, we're going to get 350 nanites out of it as well, not credits. That's good. All right, start the mission. Okay, so we're going to do the mission first. It's very odd for me to do this during a regular save, but I don't know what it's going to entail because i'm really curious i don't have a lot of salvage data i don't have a lot of parts learned so i want to see what it's going to what it's going to do for me at this point now i'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's taking me into a system i've never been to before probably really 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 far away and once i get there i'm going to go ahead and stop at the space station so i have access to the system whenever i want part of the game. Take advantage of it. Okay, so Frost Crystal Sub-Zero Copper Dioxide. It's a regular system, so it's really not great for me, but let's head to the space station real quick. I'm just going to land and take off. We're not going to spend any time. Well, you know what? Let me hit the uh, the suit terminal while we're there. Uh, we got a communication coming in. Let me just see what this is. This is where... This is, oh, I know what this is. Is there anyone out there? It's outside. It's, it's Something's wrong with... We're going to identify ourselves. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I can hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you, you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? So you found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck, how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm s safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Zzz. Ask where they are. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You... Zzz. It lied to me. It lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent, before it too fades into nothingness. End communication. 
This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. I really don't want to do that in this system. Because that would make things really, really difficult. But if we had to, we had to. I mean, no big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and get my upgrade real quick. And we'll put it down there. Okay. Not going to upgrade anything else. So we're just going to keep going. Okay. Alright, where is... There it is, right there. Okay, so a lot of bases on this planet already. From all the people doing the Nexus mission. From the anomaly. But we just got to get close. There we go. Now... Uh, because I'm such a noob, new character right now, I want to find some place I can land if I can. Interesting. Nope, don't want that. I want some place with a landing pad. It doesn't have to be anything special. It doesn't have to be a minor trading outpost. Uh, which way should we go? Let's go north. North. All right, looks like we have something right here. Uh, no, not what we're looking for. Oh, I think I see something. And it's something that I can find a crash ship from. That's even better. I think. I don't see any sentinels, so I think I can get inside there and get a find a crash ship. So that's good. All right. Let's establish a construction site. So we want to put a base computer down. We'll do that first. Okay. Again, progress saved, but position not saved. So keep that in mind. Okay. All right, we have to learn everything, it looks like. Okay, so I had a funny feeling that that's what would happen here. So let's go ahead and get this done. Um, how come these things are covered in poop all the time? I don't get it. Anyway, not important. We got some nanites. Let's get this buried tech. Okay. Life support's getting a little low, but you know what? There's something over here I can grab. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, good. All right, we definitely need some buried tech. We're going to need it at this point. So we're going to be doing a little searching around on this planet. We have 356. Let's see over here. Six, 371, 262, 370. Let's go this way because there's a lot more out that way than there is in the other directions. We can discover animals if we wish. Let's see how many we've got on the planet. It'll tell us in a moment. One of six. So, if we can get all six, that'll give us a little boost. <clears throat> Three. Hold still for just a moment while you're panning around so the red dots can pop up as they will. Because the animals don't always appear immediately. Alright, let's head over to Buried Tech and maybe some more will pop up. Unfortunately, I do have a lot of... Uh, Hazard protection, the A-class hazard protection ought to help me. Plus, I think it is recharged with dioxide, which I've already got. So we should be in good shape. Alright, let's get this. Okay. Always check the damage machinery, too, this early on, especially. Ah, fluids this time, not, uh, poop. Okay. Mainly because you can get nanites out of them, and the nanites are handy this early on. Should be another one right over here. Oh, unburied technology, our favorite. Okay. Three more, good. More fluids. Okay, got more nanites. Okay, there was another one right over here. What is that? Curious deposits. Ooh. How many are there? Let's check. Because we have our E-class upgrade for our... Eh, it's not a very big deposit. Two, 
two, three, just keep going. Try to let your beam overheat. Four, and five. And it doesn't look like there's any more here, like underground or something. I'll take the stuff out of the containers because we are early game. We need everything we can get. Okay, some more ammunition. And an ion battery, very handy. Okay, so let's see if we can find more buried tech. Looks like we got some up there. Animals, anything that we haven't discovered yet. We've only got three. I'm assuming one of them is going to be uh, underground. And at least one is going to be flying. Let's check that out real quick. Uh, let's see. Ground, flying, and underground. Okay, there we go. We got one more ground animal to discover. Alright, that needs to be charged. We have batteries, we'll use it. I'm not trying to tame you, sorry. Alright. Heading up to the very tech, and we're going to check to see how much we get after this, <clears throat> and see if hopefully it's enough that we can get the items we need. I'd grab the blue flower, but we're literally right here, and it looks like more unburied tech. Look at that. Okay. Happens. It's just a glitch. Because of the slope of the land. Okay, and we get some more nanites. All right, where can we go? We got 100 blocks away. Let's go ahead and grab that one. How, many, how much do we have so far? We've got 12. Okay, we got a lot of runaway mold. That's nice. We'll go ahead and put that through the refiner. That'll help us to get some more nanites. Not a ton, but more. Okay, this one's buried. So we'll go to first person and hopefully... Nope. Occasionally it doesn't work. So. Pull back a little bit. And head in. Okay. Looks like we're only getting two out of that one. Come on. There we go. More nanites. Let's learn a word. Another Viking word. That's excellent. All right. We got some buried tech over there at 243. We don't want to go too far away from our ship. So let's make sure you kind of keep within the surroundings. And look for red dots while we were walking around. I forgot to do that just a moment ago. We have one more land-based animal, one more creature on the ground, and then an underground animal, and obviously one more flying one. Which may not come out until daytime, so. I got a funny feeling it isn't too far off. And you know what I haven't seen so far? I haven't seen any sentinels. Which is really, really odd. I should have seen them by now, but. Hmm. A buried tech in the middle of nowhere. How interesting. Nothing near it. And it looks like we got a plant there that can eat us. There's daylight. Alright, any more around here? We should probably pick up other things in the ground too while we're at it. Oh, there's the animal we were missing for the land-based. Alright, good deal. And there's our flying, as I said, during the day. Okay, good. The only one we haven't discovered is the one that's underground. Okay. Okay. So, finding a cave would be kind of nice. Let's head in this general direction. And take a look, because our life support's getting low. We kind of need some plants, too, so... Okay, there's some buried tech over there, is there? There is, okay. Any plants near me? No. Not that I can see. Alright. We'll worry about the life support in a minute. I want to see if we can find some plants that can... Beat us along, if you will. Hmm. No, 
that I can see. We may have to use our life support. Ow. Double ow. Whoop. Got it. Okay, let's get our shield moving along. Okay. And more nanites. Okay, so how are we doing? We're up to 20. Any food floating around? Interesting. Usually you get more food. So we are going to have to go up to the anomaly in a minute. We've got 20, so maybe that's enough. And I have a funny feeling we're going to be going back and forth frequently. So. Let's go ahead and use our life support gel. We'll make another one if we have to. And we can always use oxygen as well. Now before we go any further, I am going to go inside here and find our broken ship. Hopefully I get the math right, right? You can talk to the Viking. Uh, we're silent for a second before looking at me conspiratorially. Uh, they check over their shoulder for prying eyes before powering down security systems. The life form pulls open a hidden vault at their feet, which seems to be piled high with starship upgrade modules. Uh, interloper is the only thing I understand out of that whole sentence. I pause, considering the offer. All I hear is a soft, muted howl of the frozen wind outside. Is this a trap? A test? The warrior indicates a willingness to trade. Um, if you try to buy it with units, it's trackable. So you want to offer the metal. Not Threaten to report, definitely not. So I'm going to offer metal. Shifty life form nods. The deal is done with a soft, low growl and the briefest flap of their jaws. A flag bearer, Amaruka, yeah, whatever his name is, reaches into their pile of contraband. They hand over an upgrade module for my starship. Ah, hyperdrive. Good. That could come in handy. Oh, that's a credits terminal. We don't get much. You get a couple thousand out of it. Let's get the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Nanites, too, while we're here. We'll get more of those. Good, good, good. 50. All right, let's go ahead and find out if we can find this ship. All right, distress signal one unanswered. Here's the sequence of numbers. All right, what do we got? Okay, 99 to 92 is 7. 92 to 86 is 6. 86 to 81 is 5. So 81 to whatever is going to be 4. So that's going to be 77. It's not always input one. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Doesn't look like it's nearby. But at least we'll know where it is on the planet. Now, we're, since we're in non-multiplayer mode, since multiplayer mode is turned off, we should hopefully, hopefully be able to acquire the ship that someone else may have already found. But right now, we're going to go to the anomaly. Because we got to get some parts. So let's head out. We need cylindrical room plans. Now I've already done the anomaly mission on this one, so... For those of us who have a nice, good save that's well along in many, many hours, and you already learned a lot of construction parts, keep that in mind. You have everything usually that you need. So this is going to require a lot of back and forth with the anomaly on a new save. So I have 20, is it? Let me see. First of all, let me put this over on my ship. Yeah, we have 20 so far. Okay, let's go ahead and head up. And my run juice never recharged. Go through the tunnels with my jetpack. There we go. Alright, so first place we're going to go is over here. We need to learn the cylindrical room, which is up here. Now, what else do we need to know? I'm pretty sure we're going to need to know the door. And if I remember correctly, we need to know the curved corridor, which is where? Over here. So we're going to go through this quite a bit. 
And we're going to run out real fast. There's our curved corridor. Ramp, maybe. <clears throat> Might as well get it anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if we need the biodome or not. We may need to get a lot more salvage data. And we need to learn the cuboid room. I know that for certain. I don't think we need anything else from here. And we're going to need some decorative parts as well. Which are going to be elsewhere. Not decals. There it is. This is what we need to know. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this moving along. Okay, so we're out of this stuff. So let's get our base moved along just a little bit. And then we're going to look for some more buried tech. Here we go. Okay. So before we head to our base, maybe we should head over to that ship, huh? Check it out. Acquire it. That way we have it in our inventory when we sell it later. I'm not heading to the base. Come on. Now, one thing I'm looking for is looking to see if there's any markers near it. And it doesn't look like there is, so I don't think anybody has found this ship yet. And it may not be any kind of special ship here. It could just be a shuttle. Usually it's what they turn out to be. Sometimes an explorer class. Yep, shuttle it is. I don't see anybody wandering around. Let's hit the distress beacon real quick. Uh, military multi-tools this time. Clearly thrown from the rack. Biz and spark and look unsafe. The broken body of a tendril behemoth lies awkwardly nearby. The craft must have crashed with such ferocity that little else is intact inside the ship. So should we try out a multi-tool or deconstruct multi-tools to salvage tech? I want to try out one. I'm probably going to get injured, but let's see what happens. The loaded power cylinder explodes, burning my fresh. The multi-tool itself remains operational. Hmm, B-class. It's got a supercharged slot on it. What else do we have? Looks like we got some upgrades in here we can pull out of it. Well, that's good. Okay, so compare. And we're going to take it. Now we need to switch back. We can see we injured. But we're going to switch back to our other multi-tool, which I think is the entangler. I think we're in good shape on that one. we just check it real quick. Nope. Go to the other one. I forgot I didn't put the terrain uh, manipulator in it, so we're going to stick with the optimized loop thing about what's it. All right, so while we're here, collecting items. Because we need stuff. And, you know, we have some buried tech here as well. There we go. Let's acquire the ship and get it fixed so we can take it. To B class. Uh, let's see, no technology installed that we can take, but the launch thrusters are already fixed. Good, claim it. And we're gonna fix the last one, which is what hermetic seal metal plate. So I think we can make both. Yep, yeah, we got it. It is now fixed and operational, so we can sell it later. Not gonna do it now though. Okay, primary saved, but we need to look around. That's sweet root, frozen tubers, that's good. I'm looking for buried tech, though, and perhaps a creature that's from underground. Uh, looks like we got some buried tech right above us at 331. Another one at 140. Let's head up there. Frostwort we don't need. Later we will, but not right now. All right, let's head up there. And we will probably have to build ourselves some more life support gels at some point. Unfortunately, at this stage in the game, your jetpack does not recognize um, 
s vertical surfaces to climb up. So it doesn't give you the option to jetpack forever. Uh, this one's really close to the surface. There we go. We don't even have to go to first person for that one. Okay. We got one over here at 301 and one over here at 360. And I thought there would be one a little bit closer than that, but I don't see it. Oh, 165. There it is. Okay. All right, let's head over there. That didn't work at all. Let's try it again. Ah, and we've got some broken technology over there, too. Um, that one we're going to have to dig out. That's not what I'm trying to dig it out with. I bet you can't dig it out with a gun, right? Okay. We're going to need a lot more of this stuff, so... There are a whole bunch of ships. One, two, three, four, five ships going in that direction. I've never seen five ships going in a direction without there being a landing base nearby. Fascinating. Ooh, big guys. All right. Um... Right, recharge. We're going to recharge this. We should get it a little colder first before we use it, so let's do that. Uh, let's see. We got Berry Tech at 210. And 332. 174. 320. Okay, let's go to the 174. It's closer, obviously. Good upgrade. All right, here we go. Oh, this one's not even buried that deep. There we go. All right, I got four out of that one. That's good. Okay, get rid of the goop. More nanites. Good. Uh, let's see. Now, we had another one in this direction we can go after. It's right over there, 170. But I'm starting to get a little bit too far away from the ship. Um, let's go ahead and head to this one, even though it's further away. It's closer in relationship to the ship. Yep, I said that. Let's go ahead and hit this thing up. Okay. How close to the surface are you? Not very close. First person is able to get it, though. And no broken technology anywhere. All right. Got another one right in front of us. 363, 298, 381, 359. Okay, we got a, four of them right there. Got two more getting closer to the ship. Right? Where's our ship? Right down there. Okay. So let's hit this one and we'll work our way back. Ooh, frozen tubers. I'll grab that while we're here. Okay, that'll get our life support up a little higher, so we don't have to make anything yet. Okay. Close to the surface? No. Close enough for us to grab it, though. Ooh, there's another one right below it. Excellent, I got two. That one usually means there's two broken techs nearby, but I don't see any. All right, we're going to go looking back the other way now. 113, 245, 146. So let's go to the 113 first. We got lucky there to get two of them right next to each other. Doesn't happen very often. There we go. 89, let's grab it. Got it. And there should be one right over here. There it is. That's a little further away. That's not it. Ah, it's right here. Okay, good. 
This one I think we're going to have to dig down to. It's really deep. Uh, 20. That's the closest I think we're going to get, but I don't think we can reach it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Just a touch so we can see it on an angle. There we go. That was really way far down there. Uh, I wonder if it's in a cave. Yeah, it was. Well, we can pick it up. We can't cut through the surface, but some surfaces you can't cut through. Just to keep that in mind, okay? There we go. Sometimes if you got those things close by and they're about to start emitting uh, gases, you should just uh, take them out. All right, there's the hole we created. And it looks like it's recognizing it as being a vertical hole, so that's good. So we were able to get out pretty easily. All right. So we've got quite a bit of buried tech. How far away is that one? 274. And that one over there is at 333. Yeah, let's grab that one. It's on the way. Oh, wait a minute. That one. 319. Let's get that one first. So a lot of this grinding that we're doing here is very, very important to the game. Ouch. <laughs> Cave helped us a little bit there. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a buried tech up there I didn't catch. Okay, we'll get that in a minute. We're, all, we're almost on top of this one anyway. Okay. First person. Excellent. There should be one right over there. So, even though we can't see it, go to the damage machinery and you should find it. Oh, there it is. Unburied tech. I only got two out of that one. That's okay. What do we get out of you? Alright. Got some nanites. Alright, and we had one more that we could grab. That one right there. And we should have a good amount of buried tech now to get things taken care of. Grab some more sodium. Oop. Right here. Can we get it? Yeah, we can. All right. Anything else on the way? Okay, the ship's over there. We do have some buried tech right there. 327. Let's grab the last one, and then we'll head back to the ship. Ooh, hello. Once again, no sentinels. I don't know what's going on. It's very weird. Is that an oxygen patch over there? It is. A small one. Ah. Two unburied techs. Nice. One. Two. Three. Holy mackerel. Alright, so that means we've got three of these units right next to each other. I've never seen this before. I've seen two, but I've never seen three. Okay, so we got nanites from one. Let's see if we can get the other ones. Talk about glitching. Wow. Nanites out of that one, and it looks like we get into third now. So we got ourselves well over 100 nanites. That's nice. Unless this gets us an upgrade, but nope. Nope, nanites it is. All right, well, that's cool. Let's hit the uh, oxygen patch, because I always use extra oxygen. There we go. Always try to grab one of these. I mean, when you get into further, further, further into your game and you don't really need it as much anymore, that's another story. All right, where'd I put, where'd I park the car? Over there. Okay. That happens to me often. You'll hear that all the time. Where'd I park? 
All right, how many uh, fairy tech do I have? I got 30. Oh my god, I got 53. Yeah, I think we're all right for a while. Let's get our life support up. Nice, all the way up to the 90s. Sweet. Really sweet. So that was great, finding these three buried techs. Unbelievable. That doesn't happen, man. Yeah, we won't have to recharge her at this time. Okay. So let's take our ship and get out of here. Everything's run out of juice. There we go. And let's head to our base. Now we'll go back to the space station in a little bit. Let's just see how far we need to get. Uh, our base is all the way over there. If you're wondering which base is yours and trying to get them, you know, not get them confused with somebody else's, yours is always going to be the black or slightly gray one, if you will, like that. Other people's bases will always be purple. Nah, we're not locked in. We're locked on somebody's farm. Oh, nope, we did get locked in. Okay, good deal. In we go. It's amazing, because the anomaly uh, missions usually only take me 15 to 20 minutes. For those of you who have a new save, or a young save, if you will, um, yeah, you're going to take a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and make our room. We're going to make it over here near our base computer. Uh, we need pure ferrite, it looks like. Uh, we do have the ability to take out the big rocks now that have pure ferrite in them. And if you want to analyze them first, because you might get a nice secondary element. Yep, dihydrogen, always handy. I accidentally went off to my manipulator again. There we go. There we go. Any more big rocks I can get? Okay, let's build it first and see how much more we're going to need. Right there. Okay, what's next? Oh, we got to do. We have to do a hollow door. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so that's something else we got to learn. This. Wait, we already have it. But we need gold and pure ferrite. Yep, that's a thing. Okay, so where do we get gold and where do we get pure ferrite? We don't have any in our ship, right? I think we're out of gold or we're really, really low on gold. Yeah, we don't have much gold at all. Okay, let's go ahead and head out. And if we can see any asteroids anywhere, like an asteroid field, we can get our gold from there. This is just going to have tritium in it. Okay, where is the space station? It's that way. Let's go ahead and head that direction. And yeah, it's not going to make a difference. We're almost gravity at the space station. So let's see if we can buy some. Whoa, okay. Okay, so we need gold. It's silver, most likely. All right, here we go. Alright, we need to buy... We got phosphorus in there, that's good. We need some silver. Let's go ahead and grab the silver. I'm going to put it in my ship inventory. Uh, let's see. Do we still have the phosphorus and ammonia? We keep that? We got ammonia. There's a phosphorus. Yeah, we do. Okay, we're good there. Alright. So we have silver now. We had a lot of silver to begin with, but we need gold. So either the other terminal, or we're going to have to wait for a ship. Ship should be appearing in a minute. Let me just head in here real quick. Oh, grab some nanites while we're back here. Alright. Let's see what we got. Alright. Solar mirror. Gold. Excellent. 
My nice cobalt. Let's grab that too. It's expensive, but it's good to have that. And let's grab all the pure ferrite and magnetized ferrite while we're at it. And hey, while we're here, I'll just grab the ferrite dust. It's not expensive anyway. Okay. We spent a lot of money, but that's okay. We got our gold. Go back to the planet. No ships have landed. How weird. <laughs> Love the wings on this thing. All right. Back to the planet. Back to our base. And I'm coming in upside down, so I'm going to have to flip over. I don't know why, but it bothers me. I'm going to fly through a cloud. There we go. And aim for the green. There it is. There we go. Alright, let's get moving on this now. So. We need to make a hollow door, it said, right? Let's make sure we get this log going on. Joy of home. There we go. Learn hollow door. We've already got the hollow door. Now it tells us to... Three straight corridors. Let's go do those. So it's not making us do the curved ones. That's interesting. The biodome. We got to do that. And cuboid rooms. So we can do the cuboid rooms. Let's do them real quick. Uh, it's here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, what do we need for those? Pure ferrite? Okay, so we need how many? Six. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. Uh, let's see. I need big rocks. No jokes, please. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, that looks like dihydrogen. That looks like a rock I can grab. Mining beam. Yep. I'm looking for big gray ones, and I need to look for the white. Because it's a glacial planet, so. There we go. Got a little bit. We get a little closer, that might be better. We could probably get these. Again, we can analyze the rock to make sure we're not missing something. Okay. So we need to build a lot of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pure ferrite out of these real quick, and I'm going to put my refiner down and make some more. And it looks like we got some buried tech over here, too, we can grab. All right. And if you're not looking through your visor, just look at the ground. You're going to see it nearby, whether you like it or not. It's always near these machines. Oh, I've already grabbed it from here. That's why. <laughs> You can tell by the open door on it. The fire usually goes out, but later on it can reset and the fire comes back on around those busted machinery pieces. Before we do... I'm going to put... There's pure ferrite there, but I'm going to grab our ferrite dust and I'm going to turn half of it into pure... There we go. Let's get that started. Alright. Back to you and you. So, two. I can make a third one, and I'm just shy on the fourth. Make one more. Okay. Another hundred. And we can make the sixth one. Okay, so we got them done. What's next? 
We have to build the biodome. Okay. So that's going to come next. We could leave this here. The reason I hesitate is because in the past, um, that hasn't worked out really well. Leaving it there. It's not that it disappears, but it's suddenly everything from the inventory vanishes. And when you have a long save, that's one thing. But when you have a newer save like this, you don't want to risk losing everything. So let's get this up to about 500 pure ferrite, and then we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And we'll go from there. It's amazing how long these uh, anomaly missions can be when you uh, don't have a good long save to back it up. All right, so we're at 500. Okay. Well, it won't let me unless I stop it. I forgot. There we go. All right, let's head up to the anomaly and learn some more recipes. Uh, where is it? It'll tell us where it is. There it is, right over there. It'll always stop you as it comes within the gravitational pull of the space stations. So if you just aim for them and you can get locked on a little bit, you can go straight there. Alright, let's go get some more recipes. We need to learn the biodome. A lot of these things you would have learned had you gone had I gone through them I would have learned had I gone through the regular storyline, but we're getting them early. Okay. Biodome. Whopping 10. I don't know what else we're going to need. We didn't learn the hollow door, but somehow we had it. So I'm going to learn it just to play it safe. Uh, let's see. I don't think we need anything else from this area. Like I said, with the decorative area, we need some stuff from... Let me just keep going until I see it. I could be wrong about it. Just keep that in mind. We need lamps. I know we need lamps. Hanging lamp, I'm pretty sure we need. Over here. There we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure if we need anything from here. Twin flag. Okay, we know we need that, so we need to get the awning. And the twin flag. Now... We may not need it. It may just be based on what you have in your inventory. So I think that's all we need for now. Let me just see what else we're going to need. So let's head back. I'm just kind of preemptively trying to buy things, but I don't know what else we might need. i got to be careful. There we go. And there's our base. Okay. Hopefully this should be it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there's our green landing zone. Sometimes you gotta select it a few times to get it to lock in on it. All right. Uh, let's see. Biodome you want, do you? I like to just stick it up on top here. Now we need five glass to make that. Where's our... We didn't have it down right now. we got to make five glass, not a base computer. All right. Back into the portable refiner. Let's put some more carbon in there. Silicate is what we want to use here. And we don't have enough to build anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Hey, while we're here... While I gather up some silicate, let's go ahead and put our... I don't know how long this is going to take. This might take a couple minutes. Yeah, let's wait on that.
and as you carve into the land into the hillside you'll get more and more of the silicate powder will build up fast there we go 500 600 you're gonna need a lot of this as time goes by so you might as well grab it especially when you recharge it takes like 250 to recharge so get yourself a couple grand of it if you will There we go. That looks good. Go back the other way. Depleted, see? Not you. You. Don't use your ferrite dust by accident. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. What? 15,000, huh? That's what this does. Alright, so we need five glass to start with. Let's get through here real quick. And we're going to dump... No, I'll just put that much in there. We're just going to get the five we need for the time being. Alright. Because I'm, I'm not sure how much more we're going to need. Three, and then 880, we get four, okay, good, and then one more, and five, pull it out, we're going to leave it in there for just the time being, let's go ahead and make our biodome, okay, uh, we need a flag and, a, and four hanging lamps, I'm glad we got those, and those are over here, okay, so flags, we need just pure ferrite and carbon, and it wants how many, two? We'll put one. Two. Okay. And we need four hanging lamps. Which, the thing about the hanging lamps, the problem I have with them is they hang so low. So, one, two, three, and finally four. Okay. Anything else? Learn many weathered hanging plans on the space anomaly. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Pick you up. Back to the anomaly. Many weathered hangings. I don't even know what those are. There you are, right there. Back and forth, and back and forth. It's unbelievable. So I just want to say to all of you folks who have new saves or fairly new saves that you have to do this anomaly mission that I get done in normally 10 to 15 minutes on a normal save, um, you have my empathy. Sympathy. Tears. Frustrations. That's good. Yeah, share that. I mean, why can't it give you a list at the beginning? By the way, you're going to need the following items. Give me a shopping list. Okay, let me see what we got here. Um, weathered hangings. I don't even know where to find them. Those are posters, lockers, cabinets, storage panels. Oh, wait, this might be in here. Weathered, weathered. Mini weathered hangings, right? Right there? I think that's what we need. So, chair. Uh, it's over here, so we want to go for the flag. Weathered hangings and mini weathered hangings. think that should do it. Right? Is that what it wanted? Let's check. Just says construct the base. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. Alright, I think that's it. Back to the Batmobile, Robin. Oh, oh, okay. 
Yep, we're all over the place there. Okay, great. Return to the planet. Yes, I know. Thank you. Off we go again. No wonder I'm getting all these, uh... Achievements for walking. I will gladly delete this outpost when I'm done. Thank you. Okay. Yep, many weathered hangings. Yep, they're going on the outside, my friend. Please tell me this is done now. It is done. Thank heavens. Go to the base computer. Logged in as guest. Upload the base. Base is done. Okay, so we can head back. I'll leave it here for now if I ever want to come back. At least we got a ship out of it, right? Back to the anomaly. Again. There you are. Boink. And I think I'm upside down. Yeah, there we go. And we'll get our 1800 Quicksilver. And as you can see on this account, we'll have zero. None. So, this will be very, very handy. While well, we're in, going on our way in here, let's put our stuff over there. The things we don't need in our inventory. I'll leave the runaway mold in here, too. Alright. <clears throat> so, this was your anomaly mission for what turned out to be March 24th. Just keep that in mind. So, we're going to complete the mission... Yay! We got our 15 wiring looms. Excellent. We got extra nanites out of it. Very nice. So, one thing we can do, I think, if we go over here to the inertial t entangler, I think we can fix this up now. We need the quad servo still, but we can start repairing other areas of this. Yep. And we're going to be turning this into our main one. We need three microprocessors and a hermetic seal over there. Nice. So we got plenty of room on this thing now. And there's our three hermetic seals. Excellent. Okay, so we can repair that. All right. So... Got ourselves a decent weapon here, even though it only has the one supercharged slot on it. It comes in very, very handy, um, being that it's much bigger and it'll have a much higher damage potential as well. But we need to get three quad servos. That's going to cost us. Uh, we need to make four hermetic seals and three microprocessors, or we can buy those at the space station. So that'll be the last thing I'll repair. I'll go ahead and do that off camera. All right. So we are done. The problem is, is we need to get back to our system. I don't know if it'll let us, but we'll find out here. Best way to do it is probably try to exit the ship, or pardon me, use the ship to exit the, the anomaly. I'm just doing a save point there just to play it safe. And let's see what happens. It hopefully should hyperspace me out of here. Yes. Good. So now we're going back to our original system so we can continue with the Artemis mission. And what we're going to do is when we exit hyperspace, we're just going to scan and see if it finds it. And if it does, we'll end at the space station and we'll call us for this episode. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. Pull me out to an asteroid field. Okay, so what we do is this. Didn't happen. Okay, so let me go back into here real quick. Alright, so it looks like the... Oh, we have to choose this mission, that's why. There we go. Excellent. 
Hollow Terminus has been discovered on this planet over here. Excellent. So we're in good shape. All right. So let's go to the space station and land for the time being. There you are. And our episode is complete. And there we go. So just over an hour. Once we got done with it, it's probably the, the whole anomaly mission itself took us about one hour. So we could get everything. We got a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff we just aren't going to need. But hey, that's okay. It's decorative. We'll use it someday. All right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.